There is not enough time is a limiting belief. So let's look at the statement, there is not enough time. Now, where is this coming from? What does this actually mean? Well, if we investigate it, we actually investigate it, what we see is behind that, what we mean is we don't have time for that. Or more accurately, that isn't a priority for us at this moment. There are more important things for us to do. But if we say that, if we say it as it truly is, which we're just saying, okay, someone says to us, uh, can you do this for us? You say, oh, sorry, I don't have time for that. Of course you have time for that. You just, that isn't a priority for you. That's all. It just isn't a priority for you. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if we hide that and pretend that we don't have enough time, then we begin to feel like we don't have enough time. And we kind of feel pressured. And it's like this looming pressure to do stuff. I mean, that's how I've experienced it. It's like this looming pressure. I don't know, somehow we've convinced ourselves that we don't have enough time. And then it actually experientially kind of ref that's reflected in our lives. It really does feel like we don't have enough time. So most importantly, what is meant, what is actually meant when we say I don't have enough time is I don't prioritize that right now. And it's important we own that because when we own that, we can now start to see that, hang on, we actually do have time and we are free to use our time however we want. Isn't that the truth? We can do whatever we want. No one's forcing us to do anything. No one has a gun to our head. We can do whatever we want. We can use our time however we want. We're totally free. But not having enough time is a nice excuse to not hurt other people's feelings, to, uh, to look good in front of other people. But if you're actually honest with people, people appreciate it a lot more. If you tell someone, I've, I've just noticed this in my own life, you tell someone how it truly is, they can intuit that, they can sense that. And if they don't honor it, then that's their problem, not yours, right? You're just holding true to your truth. How they deal with it is up to them. So long as you're being compassionate to yourself, to everyone involved, just being honest, there's nothing more to it. So I guess the challenge with this video is to start to notice that, to notice that we do have enough time. We have, we can use our time however we want. It's totally free, totally free. Just notice it and see what happens. Just notice it and see what happens. Now, I've made videos about limiting beliefs. And what I use to transform limiting beliefs, I'll link this video right now, is Psyche. And I just used that today, or the past couple of days, to transform some limiting beliefs about time. And Psyche K is just a way to transform subconscious limiting beliefs to new beliefs, ones that we want. So again, in this situation, I noticed I had limiting beliefs about time, not having enough time, and saw that that's actually not true. So I updated those beliefs that I always have enough time, that I am free to use my time however I want. So I noticed the limiting belief that came up, and then I actually changed the subconscious beliefs out of which it was coming from. And then I noticed the more inner freedom that results from it. So I get the instant feedback from life after changing the subconscious beliefs. That's how I change limiting beliefs. That's how I know limiting beliefs and change them. The, the other way I also utilize is to hold prayer. So notice it and then pray for whatever you want instead. I like to do things the easy way, right? Because if we notice something and we try to consciously battle it or consciously change it, through affirmations, visualizations, and all that jazz. That's like, that's cool, but there are more effective ways. So it's not that they don't work. I'm sure that they do work. They, I mean, they work for people, that's why they're used, but there are more effective ways. I'm gonna hold true to that. There are more effective ways. Psyche is a very effective way to change subconscious beliefs. So I don't have to deal with like constant affirmations. This is a conscious, this is a conscious mechanism of trying to change a subconscious belief, which is very hard. Anyway, end my rant with that. The important thing is just notice that you do have time. Just recognize the truth of this. Just recognize the truth and let everything else happen. Let everything just arise on its own. Okay, the journey is unique for each of us. This has been my experiential sharing. 
Love to hear what you thought. Uh, comment below anything that arose for you. Do you have any perceptions about time that you'd like to share? Please stay respectful and kind. And I'm very open and would love to hear what you have to say. It'd be awesome. Like this video if you like this video. Click subscribe to be subscribed. Click the bell button to be notified of future content. Um, that's about it. That's about it. And stay joyful, my friends. See you next time.